In 1944, a 14-year-old black boy was executed for killing two white girls. Almost 70 years later, his supporters are now asking a South Carolina judge to grant him a new trial. George Stinney's family filed a motion last week in an effort to prove his innocence. It claims... <clears throat> Not a YouTuber, just like making videos. And, um... I might get brutal with this one, not pulling any punches and so forth, but we're going to talk about uh, George Stinney. Now, I, I was checking out the, um, the, the, the latest cover of People's Magazine, and it had uh, Paula Dean on the cover or whatever. I guess this is supposed to be her redemption. I'm like, this is, this is, this... <laughs> big uh, pink bag of lard this Miss Piggy look-alike I guess is on the cover because they were all like uh, you know what I'm saying I like she's a racist she had to pay for her consequences and her actions and her ideologies or whatever and you know now they're trying to make it seem like she's like this victim and old poor Paula Dean and rebuilding her empire when she didn't even fucking lose her empire and so forth. Only thing Paula Dean did was uh, prove that America was a racist place, uh, reinforce racist ideas, and uh, uh, created uh, racist. White, you know, what I'm saying, even made white people even more bigoted than what they already are. She, so her, you know, she just has a, a negative impact. I'm like, this is a putrid. This is a fucking horrible, horrible woman. You know, I'm like, she looks horrible. She looks like a fucking melted, uh, you know, what I'm saying, like a melted piece of ham with a blind wig on her head. But that's not the point. I, in, in the corner of that magazine, there, they did an article on George uh, Stinney. Which I find uh, very interesting. I also find even more, uh, uh, kind of funny that you know, saying you have this article about this uh, very racial situation that happened in America's history, um, sharing uh, the same cover with um, yeah Miss Piggy there, you know Paula Dean. But I knew about the uh, George Steiny case uh, beforehand. It was a uh, fourteen-year-old black boy who got executed you know in North Carolina or, or is it South Carolina one of those one of the Carolinas you know and it shows you how barbaric um, our society is how inhumane you know how hypocritical it was and it's happened around in 1944 yeah <laughs> when we was off fighting Adolf Hitler and the boys now we was fighting for, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the freedom of the Europeans because the Europeans couldn't get their fucking shit together. My thing is let them rot. You had a lot of black men who sacrificed themselves in that war and then had to come home and fight another war. You know, and old George Stinney got lost in the shuffle there. You know, a lot of people know about Emmett Till, but not too many people know about George Stinney. You know, it's bad. And he, you know, I'm like, he, uh, this kid had it rough. I'm like, um, first of all, you know, when he was, um, there was no evidence present at the trial. Supposedly they've had an, um, uh, there was a confession by a man on his deathbed who, uh, who did it. Um, yeah, his, his own family and kin weren't at the trial because they were driven out. Of, his, his folks were driven out of town because they said they was going to lynch him. I'm surprised George Steeny even made it to trial. You know what I'm saying? They didn't lynch him. Now, there's a movie called uh, Carolina Skeletons that draw their influence from this case. Written by a man by David Stout. Um, the movie was from a novel. I don't. Uh, David Stout wrote the novel. I don't know who did the movie adaptation. But, uh, of course, the, mo the movie started Louis Gossip Jr. Now, I actually saw this movie, Carolina Skeletons. I actually bought it at a pawn shop for like a dollar or whatever. I don't even think a pawn shop, like one of them Dollar General stores for like a dollar. And in the movie, it, it, it was about a 14-year-old boy who got executed. And I was saying to myself, this is unrealistic. Even as uh, racist as uh, America is, I don't think that no state in, or 
government will execute a 14 year old boy. A lynch mob may hang him, but not, you know what I'm saying, you know, to send him through the proper channels to get him on death row, but lo and behold, yeah, they would. It, just, it shows you what the United Snakes of America is about and why I don't have pretty much hope in this country and so forth. And this is stuff that they're not going to teach you in history class. This is stuff white people are going to try to avoid, bury under the rug, you know, not, um, you know what I'm saying, just come into terms with it, you know, and, uh, and people know about him and Till and they have to know about this. You know, we just, I'm like, when we watch these movies of the past, of the heroes, of the uh, the Leathernecks, you know, World War II, we want to think of the, the good old times where America was the good guys, but, you know what I'm saying, us black people, we went through, uh, we went through the mud, we went through hell, you know, and as I said before, to fight that war and, and then come back home, I'm like, it's sickening, it just shows you white people, you know, that that's why I've said in other videos that, I, I, I can't get too mad at Adolf Hitler. You know, Adolf Hitler just, I'm like, as Khalid Muhammad said, there's a little bit of Hitler in, in all white people. There's a little bit of Joseph Stalin, Stalin Ivan the Terrible, um, what's that, uh, 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 Leon, uh, um, King uh, Leopold the Third, the Second, you know, or whatever. You know, I'm like, these, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't fall too far from the racial tree. But, you know what I'm saying, there's this movie, Carolina Skeletons, uh, loose, um, loosely based on this incident, on this trial, um, Louis Gossett Jr., and, the, you know what I'm saying, you see in the movie, the 14-year-old kid gets uh, executed, and Louis Gossett Jr., and then it, 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 uh, it switches over to present day, or whenever that movie would, came out in 1991, and so forth. I don't think it switched over to present day, but Louis Gossip Jr. was his brother. His character was the 14 year old brother. And when he grew up, he went into the military. And then when he came home from the military, he came back looking for answers and so forth. I was like, he wanted, he was chewing bubble gums and kicking ass to find out who the, the true uh, uh, murderer of these two white girls were. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, um, I was one part, it was one of the greatest lines in a Hollywood movie ever. Uh, Louis Gossip Jr.'s character's in his uh, army uniform and he goes to a mechanic to talk to some oily skinned redneck racist. And the white dude says to him, he says, um, I don't like servicemen, but most of all, I don't like niggers. You put them together and what do you got? And then Louis Gossip Jr. says to him, um, you, it seems like you got your hands full. <laughs> you know, I, I love that line. Now you can check that movie out on, on, on YouTube. I think YouTube you can watch it, uh, the whole movie and so forth. But it just goes to show you, I'm like uh, George Steeny. I'm like he was he was accused of murdering two white girls pretty much at the same time, and this was like a a, a, a small 14 year old boy. He wasn't a big. Uh, six foot. He was. They said he was like five one. He, he was a puny guy. Even if you look at his photo there, he seems like a little guy from fourteen. You know what I'm saying? Like just small in stature. He's very young for his age. Like he looks like a ten year old kid, and he murdered two white girls. You know, pretty much at the, on the same day, almost at the same time. And white people believe this. And that goes to show you uh, either two things. One. You know what I'm saying? They didn't care who the killer was. They got this little black boy. And this goes into my video of white people don't care about a white life until it's killed by a black person. Because I know that there was all sorts of white people that knew who the real killer was. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or if, if they didn't know who the real culprit was, they knew that this kid didn't do it. But they wanted blood so bad. They hated black people so bad. They didn't care if this dude was innocent or not. You know what I'm saying? They just wanted to, 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 to execute a, a, a black boy. You know what I'm saying? That is, you know what I'm saying? It's the primal savagery. You know what I mean? These, uh, uh, <laughs> these, these medieval beasts. You know what I'm saying? That's what they were. You know, they, they wanted a, a blood sacrifice. And they didn't care. They didn't, they didn't give a... So and this tells me they didn't even give a shit about the, the, the girls who died because if they really did, they'll go after the the, old, the the real culprit. Somebody had to say something who had to step up and say, hey, no, I know who the real killer is. 
the real, uh, even if this dude was a racist, this dude would be like, hey, I'm racist, I don't like black people, but I know who the real culprit is, and this dude needs to be brought to justice. This dude needs to be hanged. He needs to be put in an electric chair and so forth because he really killed him. Or this would tell me that, or another thing, is that, that white people had so much distrust for black people or thought black people was like these animalistic people that a 14-year-old black boy would be looked at as vicious as you would look at a 14-year-old or, or a teenage uh, bobcat or gorilla or some so other wild animal. Like a black person is a wild animal. Don't matter if it's an adult animal or just a child. It's, 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 it's capable of doing very uh, vicious acts. Inhumane acts. So we gotta we gotta get him. His trial didn't last long and so forth. And um, so that that's inexcusable. I don't care what white people. White people say, well that's the past. Fuck no. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And we can go over to Europe or whatever and, and, and build these pillars of justice or whatever and talk about all these great men and this happened also no that's why I don't like watching these movies that take place in yesteryear and so forth and you know and, and even I like these characters because I, I knew how extremely racist uh, white people were especially down south especially when you watch movies like Legend of Beggar's Vance and that fucking movie Green Mal and why I hate that movie now I would say the movie Green Mal somewhat uh, um, got its inspiration from this case. For instance, what you have, you had uh, Tim Duncan Clark played some, you know, big black dude that supposedly murdered two white girls. When they found him, the two white girls were just, you know, in, in his uh, uh, clutches, whatever, dead. Now, in real life, we know that that fucking dude would never make it to trial. He would have never made it to any sort of prison facility. They would have hung him and killed him right there. They would have hit riddle. After they hung him, and cut all of his fingers off and riddled him with so many bullets his his carcass would have weighed twice as what it did before you know we know that but in the movie he was on travel to see and made it seem like white people in that era weren't that racist there was only one racist white dude in there and that dude was the psychopath sociopath that actually committed the murders you know it was like all these other white dudes with all they was all liberal minded you know even still I'm like, even if that dude would have made it the, the, you know what I'm saying, inside the death row, he would have got so much shit from the guards. The guards would have hated him for being a black dude and, um, you know, and for what he did. But, you know what I'm saying, he was, as Spike Lee said, he was the magical Negro. They was parading him all around. He was helping. He was hailing white people. They let him go to the movie theater and so forth. So Hollywood is trying to, as I said, they constantly make it seem like they weren't so, because white people don't want to come into the, uh, the realization or face themselves. I'm like, it was just common practice for people to be bigots back then. The term nigger wasn't even deemed uh, an offensive word. White people had it all in their lit literature. They used it all the time. It wasn't even offensive just to just call, uh, just yell at some black dude and say, hey nigger, we're about to close, you gotta leave, uh, and so forth. So that's why it's it's a it's a bullshit. So rest in peace, George Steiny. Um. So um, uh, thanks for watching and uh, Sally forth.